stones, wildfire. And with a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tale of the Tosa. Welcome to the final episode in the revisiting certain Inazuma 11 Let's Play in 2021. Unless indeed I go back to Inazuma 11 3 to try the ultimate tournament again. Um, but in the previous episode, we were taking a look at Inazuma 11 Go Light, and I kind of said, I'd quite like to do one on Chrono Stones, but at the same time, it's not really much of a revisit when it's my most recent Let's Play and was finished less than a year ago. Um, but the more I thought about it, I was sat here with my microphone in front of my face, the laptop was there, I had the game right next to me, I've got a few hours to kill until my train, and it's just like... Yeah, I gave the idea in the video, so I, I give my thanks to anyone who did leave a comment saying this is what they wanted, but I'll be honest, <laughs> I've, I've, this is the same day, I've just decided to sit down and record it, because I think, now that I'm quite used to the gameplay of Go Galaxy and haven't played Chrono Stones in a few months, I'm going to be quite thrown off playing this, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do anymore, like I've S-ranked this entire route, um, because I, I got good for a bit and learned what I was doing. But there's this one match, Team Zero, right? I played them in the level 99 competition routes and I got a draw and it was a weird canonical uh, deficit because it was like, oh man, I really want to uh, see who's better out of Bylong and Tezcat or Bylong and Soul. Um, and then they got a draw, so it was like, well, I guess they're equally good. And then I tried again off screen and showed in the recording the outcome, and indeed, Team Zero won. So I was defeated. However, um, I've since S ranked them off screen, but this is a very different team. Uh, I remember actually, Frost turned out to not be that good, surprisingly. It's the second time Pants is going to be in one of these things. Um, so I'm going to try and beat. Team Zero on screen for the first time in level 99 Chrono Stones. Obviously we're playing Wildfire here, the one from the level 99 route, rather than um, the Thunder Flash team, which to be fair, it's level 99 as well. I could go for, go for a bit of that and see what they could do in a revisit, but I think, yeah, this is the, the best idea I'd had really. Take on Team Zero for the third time, semi on screen, and see if I can actually beat them this time because oh me oh my I was doing an awful job of it <laughs> when it was actually required of me so it's time to finally put Bylong in the ground forever I guess um please Ugh, this is how out of practice I am already goalkeeper where are you mecha mark the stationer but to be honest, I think I'm going to go for a special tactic right away because I'm I'm not dealing with this. Uh, whoops, skipping animations. Mecha Mark, once again, this is for you. Yeah, like, the ambition here is to try and beat Team Zero. I don't care if it's an S rank, I just want to beat them. But I don't think I will. Because <laughs> this is sincerely the first time I have played Chrono Stones in months. And I've been playing tons and tons of Go Galaxy to help finish off the patch and get ready for my Let's Play. So it's like, I'm spent in terms of Chrono Stones. I've forgotten everything that made me capable of S-ranking all the matches. Other than the Soul strategy, but the Soul strategy is also boring. Um, but I'm forced to take a shot with him anyway, I guess. Not that it's got any hope of going in. <laughs> Not even got this. Like, I've gone from recording revisiting in Azuma 11 Go 1, where I took a level 90 team into a match against actual children that were like level 50 something. It was the easiest match in the entire revisit thing. And now I'm here taking on the hardest match. Um, fine, we will commit to Soul just on the pure principle that. I've forgotten how to play this game properly, and I need him. Um, so I hope you'll forgive me. We do have Bylong as well, by the way, who could have done the exact same thing, but better. Like, he's got Great Blaster instead of Thundertaker, and is also just my general preference of character, but the, the position has Soul at the front, so I guess that's what we're doing. Fission and Fusion from Prezari, please. 
I could have switched the kits over again. One thing I really liked doing for the level 99 routes was putting all my characters in a different kit for every match. But then I just got so invested in the, actually recording the final three all in one go and keeping up the momentum of actually playing well and doing a decent job that, um, yeah, I just totally forgot to change the kit. So this is like the fourth time that they've been in Giel's uh, kit. But at least that is Zeto's canonical kit that he's actually supposed to wear. Um, there is There is that. Dragon Driver 688, but Sol is not armorfied, so he cannot uh, finish this one off. I'm better if Wall of Atlantis blocks this so that Sol can steal it from them. Because um, he cannot shot chain yet. Yeah, can this be a block so that Sol can take it from you, please? The wall. Shot weakened, so it's going to make it to Inferno Fist Man. And he's probably got a third one in the tank. Um, and it's only getting stronger as well. That's a funny one. Oh, but that didn't go too far, actually. I cannot bring out Bylong Spirit, but I can put Soul in position. But Bylong cannot beat his own teammate. Like, <laughs> that is his underling, and we couldn't do it. Land of Ice may be at its strongest in Chrono Stones, but Sean Frost still not going to make an impact here. Um... Are we going to end up with another draw, or am I just going to lose? But I'm having fun with it. That's that's the main thing, but I'll have a lot less fun if Tezcat goes for a shot. So March of the Penguins again, please. Who's going to be in position off the back of this one? Pants is going to have to get rid... Soul! Why are you just stood there? Do something! The ball was right there! You were just what? Mega, mega fuming, but it worked out anyway. Okay. If this were Go Galaxy, I would be going Solar Flare as the strongest thing in my arsenal, but this is not. So we have to armify and go for a Thunder Taker. Hey, a lot of work this. But again, keep the ambitions realistic. We're just going for a win, that's all. Thundertaker plus 2Y, 993. That's not all that bad, but it's not good enough. But let's get the start. No, he did have another Inferno Fist. I guess that means he will get to Armify for less time. All right, Sean's just my teammate. I think I was forgetting the whole way through. Um, but he's a useless one. Like... It's actively dead weight, and it's very, very sad for someone that I love so much. But Forked Edge, please, that'd be a good idea to make use of a spirit without. Um... Yeah, that's a free win. Okay, so we're passing to Sean automatically. The goalkeeper's still stunned. I still don't know how I used to S rank these things, but Soul Plasma Cut, please against this guy who rose up against his own teammates. So again, yes, yes, this is feeding the agenda that Sol is better than Bylong, but maybe Bylong can get the winning goal in the end or something. He's stunned. Hit him with Solar Nexus. Do it! 8-8-8. See, I genuinely don't know. It's got the type advantage over the... Spirit, Demogorgon is, is grass, but then he's gone for the move that's got the advantage. Oh, 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 I was right to be concerned. There was a two point difference. Thankfully, I was able to get an automatic dribble win anyway. Um, we're going for Thundertaker just to avoid the double god hand type advantage then. Um, so we get even more of this move. 939, that was better than. Uh, Solar Nexus was in the first place. Right, you can't do it again. 540, that's a lot lower. Thank you, Type Advantages. We've got the first goal, but Tezcat could take one at any moment. At least we've got Gamma set up, so he can armify whenever he wants. And then Bylong, I'm sure, will be the next in line for the second half. For now, we can't do anything with that, so let's just... Let them have their freebie on their bylong. Is that going to be Victor version? Yes, it is. So we can have two of those on the field at once. But for now, we can tell the two bylongs apart. 
This should be a freebie. No, I'm going to skip this because, yeah, Black Butcher does not have a dribble. Um, it's back to full-on soul mode. But I think what I want to talk about now is, is the level 99 roots themselves. I know this is meant to represent revisiting uh, the Thunder Flash Let's Play in general, but I'm very clearly playing Wildfire. This is a lot more so about the Wildfire 99 roots. And I'm just, I just want to thank people for enjoying them so much and encouraging me to make more because... I knew I always wanted to do one, like, as the very first time I'd ever played them. Um, and I had no idea how fun or challenging they were going to be, but, you know, I certainly had no intentions of making a video on all of them. <laughs> like, that was never, ever planned. But, oh, <gasps> Prezari's so good, Prezari's so good, Sean is so not, but... Let's keep this going because this is Chrono Stones where armor flying is LP and it's not worn off yet like it would have in Galaxy. I keep alluding to that as though you guys have played it and many of you will have, but many of you will not, so I'll try to stop. <laughs> but yeah, like, the only reason I recorded all of the level 99 competition routes is because you guys were enjoying them so much and I was kind of sat recording them thinking, why do people like this so much? I'm just playing matches. There's no editing going into this, I'm just mainly talking about the gameplay, it's, it's not that topic heavy, but I, yeah, I guess just having an actual challenge to take on in Inazuma, because I, I, like, I know my stuff, but I'm not the best, I think I'm uh, carrying a bit of that modest but decent energy uh, into Inazuma. I guess that's what I do at Smash tournaments as well, I'm good enough to make live up to my seeding and go absolutely no further. Um, that's me in a nutshell, but yeah, like, I don't want to sound too up myself, I'm going purely off the words of everyone else here and not my own, but people just enjoyed them. So here's another one, and it's going okay so far, I am, I'm winning, it's, it's a, it's a small margin, but it's man oh man, uh, one day Go Galaxy is gonna have a lot more where these came from, and I'll tell you, I am trying to play that game right now, uh, and I am struggling to even S-rank the matches that aren't level 99. Like, some of them that are just level 80, I am failing uh, to S-rank, because some of them are just really hard. Like, the, the game feels a lot more balanced. Uh, Chrono Stones you can definitely exploit, and I know you can exploit Go Galaxy as well to an extent with... Um, yeah, you know, stuff like I'm mashing the special tactics button. I hope I'm tapping the right place. I know you can exploit it with spirit big moves and all of that stuff that you can stack. I don't have any special tactics left. They're going to score. Um, have to armor fly and go for the strongest thing I've got, which would be double god hand. But I'm accepting. It's only fire tornado. Okay, I think... I think I'm fine, but I've still got to go get the ball the heck away from this situation. Double God Hand, please stop it first. Yeah, I was in no no danger whatsoever. Um, again, I'm very used to Go Galaxy, where low key my my goalkeeper is dead weight. Um, I just cannot rely on them whatsoever. Who do I pass to here? Pants is up there. She's got a long shot, right? She must do. Um, but even then, it's probably not a good idea. Now, Bylong is going to take this back, and he's an even bigger threat. Um, Flora, actually, can I bring out Flora's fighting spirit? That would potentially rescue this one. I can't, though, because Bylong's already done it. Um, click that by mistake as well, just to confirm. Yes, I cannot. I can't take any prisoners. I wish I could show you more interesting moves with Mecha Mark, but I'm just going to spam Double God Hand until the match is over. Um, because I'm worried. I'm going for that 1-0. Um, I'd like to have the second one, but... Right, while the ball's in Mecha Mark's hands, let's get my Mixy Max out on Bylong, please. Oh, I've not even cancelled Souls yet, so I've can't do anything there. <laughs> that was looking like it was going to be soul right on command. Um, where am I going? <laughs> Pass to other 
players. All right, he's gonna have to do it. Not Mixy Max, unfortunately, uh, which takes away his friggin' Great Blaster, or it would have taken away his Thunder Thunder Taker if we had that on him. I need Soul to run out of stamina right about now. Can I do? Where is he? Let's just run him in. Run him in circle. This is the most I can plan his trajectory. Apparently, um, I really want to exhaust him just so that I can get the Mixy Max out on Violon, but it's... Yeah, he needs substituting altogether. Let's go for Zero Magnum, though. Um, we could be in a lot worse of a position. We're at least taking a shot with some of the best strikers I have to offer. And, then, you know, this is the right conclusion as well. I I didn't have Violon on my squad when I took on Team Zero in the 99 Roots coverage. But now that he's actually part of the squad, I'm allowed to win now. Like, that's just... <laughs> I got into this interaction before I could take a shot with Pants. That would have been so cool because she's got no... No, Prezari's the one with no future. That's a horrible sentence to say out of context. It is a move name, I swear. <laughs> but, dear, oh dear. Um, yeah, I just have no substitution opportunity. I was really hoping it was going to go into the corner there when they kicked it in the middle of nowhere just so I could make that substitution, but nah, not happening. Um, we just have to keep playing football until we can actually do something meaningful. Um, hello lads, this is bad. This is really bad. Bylum's going for a shot. Floral Fiesta is not gonna be good enough. He doesn't have a spirit, but he probably doesn't need one. I picked the move with the type advantage. Doom Sword Slash? Are you stupid? It's still over a thousand power, though. Ah. Uh, uh, no. He scored with Doom Sword Slash. Why are you talking, Tesco? It wasn't you. But finally, the only way I was going to get Sol off the pitch was to actually concede a goal. But it's happened now. So, Gamma and Bylong, you have to be my MVPs right now. Gamma's going to pass to you. We're going to run through the Black Pawn guy because he cannot block unless he armor flies. We need to recover this one straight away. Bylon's lost his spirit, but he's got another one as a result of this. Because Chrono Stones is kind of busted. It's Lancelot. We'll armor fly at the earliest. I was kind of expecting uh, Chuga Liang's spirit, but... Uh, I was wrong too. I'm going to skip a couple of animations because I'm worried and Black Butcher can't stop this anyway. Uh, he ran into the wrong person there to be honest. I was instinctively scared of the guy with the spirit but he was actually the better guy to take on. Thankfully it worked out anyway. Have to engage with these guys too. Electric Impedance is not good enough. We're going for a shot now. Great Blaster. He doesn't have a spirit, but he will still be able to stop it. I'm pretty sure, but we have to go for maximum stun gauge. Bylong and Gamma. 11.06. That might do it, you know. Maybe. Double God Hand. I'm turning into Hector Helio here. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't nearly good enough. And he's not stunned either. But his Mixy Max is gone. That's huge. I need that ball back. I think I have it, but I can't tell. You'll never defeat me, not while I'm around. A god hand, X, <laughs> something like that. This guy might stop me. He has, oh, he's beaten Bylong again. Why is Whitaker my ultimate opponent in this? He's so... He's a bad. Oh, oh, he's been beaten in the end, lads and lasses. Ah, oh, I'm so scared. I just want to win. 
another great blaster. This must do it, right? How could this possibly go wrong? This is where it fails. 1074 against the... Uh, he's even out of stamina. He's done. This guy is done. He's using Snakebite, which gets, like, major nerfed in the next game anyway. We've done it. Unless... They could still score again. I never even got to armor fly gamma in this entire match. That's a bit crazy. Um, but we'll keep him in the path. Use Bylong for as long as it takes. Can I finally relax now? Bylong's biggest opponent is himself. Like <laughs> he either couldn't score the goal straight away, or there's another Bylong scoring against him. Oh, now I have the storm is in the picture. We've got the same spirit going on, it looked like. It wasn't, it was Black Butcher versus Lancelot, but yeah, it's a good job Tezcat has only done this now, or our plan would have been cancelled from the off. Um, I can't beat Eye of the Storm with Gamma either, but I have to at least try on the ho off hope that the AI just decides not to use it. Which it hasn't? It's a good job I committed then. Uh, Atomic Spin is not a long shot in this game, is it? It is in the future, but I can't do a long shot with Gamma yet. Um, which is a shame, but I would have done. But this is good enough. It's a 2-1. It's not glamorous. I'm very out of practice. But I'm relieved that in this revisit to Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stone's Wildfire in the year 2021, where we're going to lose to Whitaker again. I at least finally beat Team Zero on screen in this save file. That's a good outcome, and I did it using Bylong, so none of that story stuff about which one's better out of him, Tezcat and Soul, means anything. They both got one, right? Soul and Bylong get one each, but then the opponent Bylong scored as well, so that is two to one in favour of my boy. But we've won! To absolutely no reward, because again, I've already s it on this save file, but get him, we won! We get a spirit token! That's great! Those are so hard to come by in this game. Well, that's a lovely way to end, actually. Let's say my little outro while I pick somebody who doesn't have a spirit awakened yet. I don't know who it's going to be, but we're just going to pick someone. Um... But thank you for watching. I hope this was something that was requested in the comments of the previous one, because I really enjoyed making this, uh, and no regrets whatsoever. I just love playing this game, man! So, Brave has always had Firebird. I didn't even give him that. He just happened to have a spirit the whole time. Uh, these Jordans don't have spirits. <laughs> Askel Blaze doesn't, but I think it's time that the Dragon Quest 3 hero with his Miximax on Zeta is finally able to armor fight. He deserves it off the back of that Team Zero victory. But thank you for watching. Well done, Sam Ariton. This has been Table of the Toaster, and I will see you not in another revisit video unless it's in Azuma 3, but just in something. Toodle pip. Spread your wings wide, wildfire fire bird. There's trouble before us, a dark tomorrow. Mountains of trial and challenge, valleys of pain and sorrow. We will overcome them. Tackling things one by one without a doubt We've got the guts to get this done With a warm wind at your back step to the ledge Ready to go, it's lift off, time to start your board Whatever you do, nothing stops you flying You never bring my A game to breathe in deep Now let's start off on your wings, moving like breathing hard Just gotta go ahead and fly like an arrow Gotta grab your wings, ready, one, two, three, glow Aim for the blazing sun, go all out, set the whole sky a glow Jump, jump, spread out your wings and soar above everyone Rising high and gaining speed We are one with the breeze I will be the warming wind 
there to dry up all of your tears these wings that have always been there to lift up my friends dreams are a badge of pride for me spread your wings wide while far fire burn i knew i could do it better in 2021 let's go